Hey, Paula. Meet me at the partner. That's what I like about your show, too. That's why I wanted to come on, too, because you do get to the to the nitty-gritty, to the bone gristle of, like, when you bring people on, you got stories from high school. Like, tell me about you, bro. What type of person you was in high school? How was you in mm -hmm. college, wherever you, you know what I mean? What, what you known in your hood for? What was you doing? But was you always rapping? And then you ask questions like that. So when I seen this show, I was like, it took me to see this show to know I even had a story. Because sometimes it'd be like, man, I ain't got no story, bro. Like, because you living so fast and you just going through your life. Fast. And when you hear people talk, you like, oh, damn, I can go and tell my story. Like, so, yeah. so you you opened up that lane for people to really, like, you know, come on here and give you a backstory. I call I call your show the backstory. Yeah, the backstory. You, know what I'm you see, I you see. No, it's the apartments is like the backstory. You know what I'm saying? These number apartments all the way in the back. Yeah. That you got yeah. to ride yeah, through. Yeah. It's, it's the backstory. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, that's why I was excited to come on here too. No, no, no. But this this that's the that's the that's the main reason. It's because I I look at podcasts like the new books. Right. Kids in our community don't really read mm. for real. Mm. You see what I'm saying? And that's because they never they ain't been brought up and been taught to read to find information in books. You see what I'm saying? Except if you put it in the book. If you don't want somebody to know something, Someone put, put it, it in the book. book. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And that's and that's really true. For real, for real. So when you understand these variables, I try to figure out a way to be able to bring them that factor that they missing. Right. And podcasts are, is a way to tell stories. Right. I can have ten people up here and all of them got the same background all on from the project is this but each story is going to be different right. it's like a book you read this book you learn this oh he did it this way oh he did it this way oh he did it this way mm. and from all them all them you ways you're seeing your way. exactly you yeah. start saying you know what i like what he did i'm gonna pull yeah. this yeah. i like what he did i'm gonna pull this yeah. and then that's how you that's how you start building your character that's how you start building who you are that's how you start figuring out different philosophy and ways mm. to do what you're trying to do mm. you see what i'm saying mm. but people don't understand philosophy part so if you see enough podcasts and you see enough people then you'll be like okay then it's a way to rejuvenate what people is doing in their lifetime and what they're doing in their business now mm. you see what i'm saying yeah. because there's a lot of young people and this is a social media driven world. Right. You see what I'm saying? And if you ain't using social media, you're losing. You're right. Period. I, well, I ain't going to say you're losing. No, you're But not. if you're not, your fucking path is going to be so fucking hard. To go to. It's going to be so hard to go to. So you're losing. You see what I'm saying? Basically. You see what I'm saying? You're losing time. You're losing time. You're losing definitely. Time. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So you have to use the social media for these young people. Right. You have to put it in their face and you have right. to let them see. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be some people on here who are going to be like, I ain't, I ain't know who Lil Zane was. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then they going they gonna first thing these young niggas do, go straight to YouTube. Then they gonna start saying, oh shit, oh shit. Now so now you get reintroduced to younger people. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Then people who already knew you, they know your story, they're gonna hear you and be like, damn, I ain't no shot have been through that, but he just like me. So now you're becoming extra relatable. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. And all this ties into social media because you have to be relatable for people to continue to follow you, follow what you're doing, and like what you're doing, and that's how you become an influencer.